Let's talk about the MotoGP Portuguese GP. Let's talk about Marc Marquez. Huh, have you all recovered from that accident yet? Because quite clearly, Marc Marquez and Honda haven't. Again, I mentioned in the last video that Marc Marquez makes you feel like a parent while watching because you feel so out of control and you want the best for him. You feel the concern, but you just can't do anything about it. And yet again, he's had one of these major accidents where thankfully, at least Miguel Oliveira is okay. But Marc Marquez has broken his hand again and that's problematic because he could well end up missing the Argentinian GP, which is not ideal for anyone. But Again, that's just Marc Marquez. He lives by the sword and he dies by it. Not literally, but figuratively, of course. And that was his bane again at the Portuguese GP. But he'd much rather crash than change his approach. That's just who he is and that's what he loved him for in the very first place. So, might as well carry on with it. But I really feel sad for Miguel Oliveira because heading into the first corner, he was P1 by a decent margin. I know that Pekka Bagnaia passed him, I know that Jorge Martin passed him and he could well be there about somewhere for P4 or P5 in the race but just to be wiped out of your home race in front of your home crowd when even on a year old bike you're doing so well, imagine the mental pain. I hope it's just a physical dent, not a mental one for Miguel Oliveira because what he's shown in this first race is a great sign for the 20 other races and the 20 other sprint races that we're also going to have this year. So that's these two sorted. But I want to talk about Pekka Bagnaia for a second because, as I mentioned early on as well, this combination is just the absolute gold standard him on the Ducati. The way he got past Jorge Martin eventually at the start and then just cruised and maintained the gap was scary in my opinion. What I'm really worried about is Aprilia, Honda, KTM and Yamaha most importantly not being able to develop their bike because when we saw that battle for P4, both the Ducatis of Johan Zarco and Alex Marquez were just able to maintain such a big competitive advantage over the KTMs and the Hondas and that was scary. If you pass the Ducatis anywhere, they'll just go past on the straights and that is not what's very really good for a fight. It'll be fun to watch this inter-team Ducati battle though when we have the likes of Grazini versus Pramac versus the VR46 guys as well racing against each other. But the reason why we love MotoGP is to see multi-manufacturer battling and so I'm slightly worried about that but I'm optimistic about KTM because their bike looks like it's on the right track. They could develop and with the likes of Jack Miller and Brad Binder, life will always look very very good. But that's KTM. Again, more worrying signs for Yamaha because Fabio Quartararo yet again with another terrible start just isn't able to get any momentum which is unfortunately terrible because mind you his race pace has been fantastic so if they can get their grips on those starts and maybe in qualifying you could get to see Yamaha somewhere close but such a disappointing weekend for them and yet again he's the only Yamaha up there. I wonder when things will change.